Good evening. Well, it will remain dry throughout the weekend. We'll see some cloud cover, certainly similar to what we saw today, but overall it'll be a pleasant uh, end to your weekend. So overnight tonight we'll drop down to 9 degrees. We're expecting mainly cloudy skies and we certainly will see cloud cover in the mix tomorrow, but you'll see some bright patches as well. Daytime highs will reach about 17 degrees near the water and up to 19 potentially for those away from the water. All right, let's throw it over to Susie Patrick for your traffic right now. Susie. Good evening. Let's get to senior meteorologist Christy Gordon with a look at the forecast for the week. Christy. Thanks so much, Sarah. Yeah, so uh, a bit of a gray day at times today, but overall it has been pleasant across lower mainland and we'll continue with that tomorrow. I just want to show you the frontal band uh, that is targeting the central coast region. We've seen some rainfall in the central interior caribou region, and we've got another major system that's on deck that is actually an atmospheric river. So let me take you into tomorrow morning. Bulk of the rainfall will be across the central coast and north coast, but you can see some good moisture shifting into the central interior, the caribou region as well. And why I say good moisture is because we really do still need rainfall in the interior regions. We don't so much uh, across coastal regions, but we do in the interior. So tomorrow morning we'll see breaks of blue sky across the south coast here, but you can see that that frontal band develops. This is late in the day on Sunday. Really starts to intensify across those in north coast, central coast region. I anticipate that we'll see rainfall warnings develop sort of uh, at least in the morning hours tomorrow, and then that will swing down across our region on Monday. So Vancouver Island will start to feel the impact of it Monday morning and then for the lower mainland more so towards the end of the day Monday. But this is a significant system in that it's about an AR3 in terms of how much moisture it'll bring and that means it's both beneficial and hazardous. So there's a look. We're talking about 60 plus millimeters for that central coast region, far less for areas further south because it will weaken as it makes its way uh, south. But when we look at the drought, we still really need some significant moisture in the interior, not as much along the coast, but hopefully some of that moisture will trail into the interior region, sort of fingers crossed, because really right now is that crucial time where we need some good moisture into the ground. All right, so the North Coast, Central Coast tomorrow, very wet indeed. We are expecting sunny skies, though, from the BC Peace River area down through the south. Rainfall for the far northern parts of Vancouver Island, and particularly you'll see that rainfall on Monday morning for our region, though a pleasant day expected tomorrow. Yes, we'll see some cloud cover in the mix. You'll see some sunshine also. And daytime highs will range from 17 to 19 degrees. Monday, we are anticipating rain, but not until later in the day. Sarah, back to you. Okay, a bit of a mixed bag. Thanks, Christy.